Welcome everybody. I want to demonstrate to you that you can dismount your industrial machines, whether post bed or flat bed, from the clutch motor table, install it on a treadle table for better speed control and ultimately better experience with your stitching. So here's how I did mine. I happen to have this low line, low bed treadle table from an old singer machine and I mounted it, I mounted my post bed on it and voila, it sold excellently. I'm going to try it on several thicknesses of leather to see how much pressure, how much effort I had to exert with the treadling um, to see if, it, if this experiment pans out well. So here is me doing it on two ply of reasonably thick leather. That the machine had no difficulty whatsoever dealing with it. So first step of the experiment or second step of the experiment, 100% passed. So let's try it on four plies. Even when you're stitching boots, you wouldn't get up to this thickness, but let's see how much effort we are going to have to exert. Um, a little bit of tugging at the beginning stages here, but after that, everything goes smoothly. No problem whatsoever. It stitches very well. So I would say for this thickness, um, it needs and mind you i'm only treadling with one one leg i'm only treadling with one feet and i'm not exacting so much effort i only helped it along help the feed dogs along on this four plies and everything else went smoothly if i may say so so at the moment i think um i'm going to change the presser foot to something a little bit more rugged i just got this off aliexpress it's the same kind of presser foot only difference is that this one has some rollers to it um, hopefully it will help with that issue um, where the feed dogs don't tend to move it along very well when you're dealing with thicker um, materials so let's see if that helps us any better so I remove this first Tighten it up very well so it doesn't come loose. And we're going to try with something more, even more, even much thicker. This is vegetable tan leather, um, reasonably thick. Something you probably usually use for an insole. So let's try it on this thick piece of insole vegetable tan leather. absolutely no problem at all let's turn it around and see what happens okay I have um, some thread that got caught and flayed somewhere there but surprisingly still stitching very well with even with the flared thread let's take a look at this Wow, 
did very well, if I may say so. And the backstitch is also excellently done. No problems at all. Let's correct that issue with the flaying of the thread. I guess it got caught with a loose piece of metal somewhere or a tension issue. I'm not sure exactly why, but um, I'll correct that and fold this insole leather even. Fold it up into two and let's see if it um, deals with it very well as well. Moment of truth. <laughs> And to think that I'm only treadling with one feet. I'm treadling with my right feet. Just that, not the two feet. And I'm not exacting any pressure. It's The machine doesn't even look like it is stressed at all. You know when your the power of your motor is not strong enough for your machine, that kind of torque that you have, I'm not exp I didn't experience it at all. So I hope I've been able to prove to you that you can mount your industrial machines on a treadle fit and get better speed control out of them. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you. Try it out and let me know what your experience is. Don't forget to like and subscribe.